We all love junkyard LS motors, but sometimes a little maintenance can actually save the motor. In this video, we'll show you how a little routine maintenance actually saved one of my favorite test motors from catastrophic failure. This particular motor is a 4.8 liter LR4. It's one of my favorite test pieces. I've used it to test everything. Turbos, blowers, nitrous, cams, heads, intakes, you name it. This thing has been put through the ringer. Loyal viewers of the channel might recognize it. It's the same 4.8 liter I used for all the compound turbo stuff, parts one, two, and three. And in one of those, I actually had to rebuild the motor. Well, not so much rebuild it as fix a broken lifter. I had to take it apart, clean everything out, and replace the lifter. The problem is I never figured out why it happened. I just fixed the problem so I could keep testing. This time, because of a little routine maintenance, I actually figured out what the problem was. And now we're gonna show you how we fixed it. This 4.8 liter is one of my favorite test motors. I've used it a ton. I've had it for seven or eight years, and sometime early in its life, I actually hurt it. We got a little overzealous with boost or timing or nitrous, and I hurt one of the factory pistons. So I upgraded with a set of Gen 4 rods and JE Forge pistons. And since then, I've run it a ton. We've tested all kinds of stuff. Obviously, the most popular thing is to do cam swaps. And the problem with an LS cam swap is, when you rotate the cam, it pushes the lifters up into the tray, and the tray holds the lifters in place. That allows you to take the old cam out and the new cam in. It's real simple. On the engine dyno, we could do it in less than a half an hour. The problem is, these are the original lifter trays, and they're all worn out, so they don't hold the lifter in place anymore. So today, for a little maintenance, I was gonna replace those used, worn out lifter trays with a set of new ones from the dealership. But guess what? We found a little surprise. So let's get these lifter trays out and find out what it is. Okay guys, it's lucky we took this thing apart. Remember, we were just taking the lifter trays out to replace them with new ones from the dealership, and we found some interesting things. First of all, if you take a look at the camshaft, you see, yeah, we've got some problems with some of these lobes. These things are wearing out. Now, this isn't the camshaft problem. We know that because we've run these cams a ton and not had any problems. But if you take a look at the lifter, then you can find out, look at that, we've got tracking on both of them, and one of them is getting real bad out around the edges. That's not good stuff. Um, but I think we figured out why this is happening. We saw a similar thing when we did that compound boost and we lost that lifter entirely because we let it run for too long. It was just wearing down like that. And I think we figured out why. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put this lifter in the lifter tray and we'll show you what's going on. Okay guys, here's what we think is going on. If you take a look at the lifter in this original high mileage lifter tray, we see that it's really sloppy. I mean, this thing drops in. There's no way that that's holding that in. Now, we can't move around this way too much once it's in the bore. That kind of keeps it seated. But what it can do is rotate. And if that wheel rotates relative to the lobe, that's going to wear that wheel. That's kind of what we have here. That's what we think is going on. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think it is? Is it an oiling problem? I mean, we always had good oil pressure on this. I went back and checked all the runs to make sure that we had oil pressure. We had plenty of oil pressure. The curve was really nice. We never ran out of oil. All that's good. Um, everybody that we talked to, Brule, all these guys, they all seem to think that this is rotation. If this thing rotates too much, that wheel's gonna wear. Now, if we compare that, if we put a new one in, I mean, first of all, you gotta force that thing in. There's no movement in that. And there's also zero rotation. That keeps that lifter in place. So we think the cure is new lifters, new trays, everything should be great. Okay guys, as you can see from this video, I've taken the lifters, both the still remaining good used ones and the new ones that I'm gonna replace, the other ones that were worn out with. We put them in an oil bath, and if you take a look at the video, you can see some of the air bubbles coming up as it fills in all those passages. We wanna make sure that they're good lubricated, got plenty of oil in them before we install them. So I'm going to put the camshaft back in before we put the lifters in, 
And right now I'm gonna use this as a baseline for some testing I'm doing. So we're gonna put in a factory LR4 camshaft. And that way I can run it basically in stock trim before I upgrade it with other things like camshafts and stuff. So let's get that camshaft in. Then we'll put the lifters in and get this baby ready for testing. Okay guys, as you can see, I've got the 4.8 liter LR4 most of the way back together. I've installed the factory cam, but most importantly, I've installed new lifters and new lifter trays. The tray should stop those lifters from rotating, so everything should be fine and we shouldn't wear our lifters out anymore. But most importantly, now I can put it the rest of the way back together, get it back up on the dyno, and do more testing. 
I've got some NA stuff coming up. I've got some boosted stuff coming up. But let me know, what do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments. What should I test next on this 4.8 liter? Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. Make sure to comment, let me know what you want. Thanks for watching.